to Vandegrift High School in Austin, Texas. My name is Merle Bertrand. Very happy to be with you on this Tuesday night. Flying soul tonight, uh, along with the coach, Les Clary, back at the Comfy Cozy Vibe Live Studios. The Vipers giving their best effort of the season against league-leading Round Rock last night. They came up just a little bit short, and they've got a critical matchup tonight as we start the second half of district play against the Stony Point Tigers. And uh, we'll call up the district standings here if I can. Whoops. I'm all thumbs tonight. There we go. There we go. As we take a look at where things stand right now at the halfway mark of district play, you can see tonight almost a must win for the Vipers. Coach Cliff Ellis' Vipers interplay tonight at 12 and 13 overall, 2 and 5 in District 25 6A. The pack is split in two, and while the Vipers find themselves at the top of the second group, they're three games out of the final playoff spot with seven games to go. They need to get themselves some wins here starting the second half of the season. And if you look at things here, as they bring you back courtside, I know you got to take them one at a time, but here you are, two and five. If you can get the win tonight at home against Stony Point, you will go to Vista Ridge. That's always a rivalry game, but that's a winnable game on Friday night. Come back here a week from tonight against McNeil. Both Vista Ridge and McNeil, as you saw there at the bottom of the standings, in theory, you can get yourself at five and five, have four games left to go, and give yourself a fighting chance if you can win two of those final four against Cedar Ridge and uh, Hutto then you've got a chance to at least get yourselves into a playoff, play-in situation to make the playoffs. But you got to take them one game at a time, starting with this game tonight. Against Coach Andrew Page's Stony Point Tigers, they're having another fine season. The Tigers coming in at 15-8 overall and at 5-2 and are tied with Cedar Ridge for third place, one game behind Ron Rock and Westwood. The Ron Rock Dragons, by the way, they routed Vista Ridge in their makeup game on Saturday. We talked about that last Friday night. So uh, Ron Rock pulling back into a first-place tie with the Westwood Warriors. That sets the table here. We'll take a break and be right back. You are watching and listening to Vandega Fibers Basketball on the Vipe Live Network. Texas Malibu is your exclusive dealer for the world's number one water sports towboats, Malibu. Now with locations in Austin and Texas Ski Ranch in New Braunfels, we cover all of Central Texas. Come see the enthusiasts at Texas Malibu in Austin or Texas Ski Ranch in New Braunfels or give them a call 512-244-9777 or visit them online, texasmalibu.com. That's 512-244-9777. Then get on the water with your crew and make memories that'll last a lifetime. When you buy or sell a piece of property, it helps to have a friend in the business. Independence Title will pick up the ball on your transaction and take it right across the goal line. Independence is locally owned right here in Austin with deep roots in the Vandergrift community. Independence is also the Austin Business Journal's number one title company. Work with the home team at Independence Title. Call 329-5299 or go to independencetitle.com. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. Y'all listen up. Let me tell you something about group meals from Rudy's Barbecue. It's got all you need for all the food you gotta feed, smoke, meat, sides, and more. There's everything down to the tablecloth, just like the one that you see at the store. At a bridal shower, it's better than flowers. And a long business meeting, it'll pass the hours. It'll feed all the cousins at a family function. It's better than potluck at a church luncheon. Next time you need to feed 10 or more, call and order a Rudy's group meal. Next in line. It's never too soon to start teaching good savings and spending habits. Encourage early savings with a high interest youth savings account from South Star Bank and teach responsible spending in a safe environment with South Star Bank's youth checking account. South Star Bank youth accounts offer no minimum balance fee and no monthly service charge. Set your child on the path to financial stability. Open a South Star Bank youth account today. Learn more about southstarbank.com forward slash youth. Member FDIC. Well, 
Welcome back to the Viper Pit. Merle Bertrand here on this Tuesday night as we get ready for Vandergrift against the Stony Point Tigers. And a big, big thanks to John Hatch and the Vandergrift Boys Basketball Booster Club and all of our sponsors for making this possible. Avalar Texas Real Estate and Agent Rhonda Drill, Bradley Basketball, Chicken Express, Cool Creek Family Dental, Gina Rott Realty, Independence Title with Mr. Brian Pittman, EXP Realty with Agent Alicia Gower Michaud, Malibu Boats, Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, South Star Bank and State Farm Insurance Agent, Mr. Gary Shanahan. And we'll turn it over to our PA for tonight's starting lineups and our national anthem. So there you have the starting lineups. First for the visiting Stony Point Tigers, Hudson Johnson, Josiah Mosley, Jaden Leonard, Tiki Maureen, and Dylan Lineberg are the starting five. For the Vipers, Bryce Friday, Charlie Hash, Luke Murphy, Josh Wint, and Mason Anderson. And how about that national anthem? As a former trumpeter myself, that tickles my heart. Well done, folks. Nobody does national anthems better than the Vandergrift Vipers, that's for sure. 
We're about ready to go here as we start the second half of district play. The 13th overall meeting between these two schools. Stony Point now leads the series seven games to five after defeating Vandega 64 to 50 for the third straight win in the series to open district play back on December 17th. And this is our 583rd Vipers cast overall dating back to 2009 and the 211th Vipers boys basketball broadcast. We're underway. Stony Point controlling the tip going from left to right. The ball swatted out of bounds. We're underway in the first quarter. And the ball almost intercepted by Hatch. Pass over here out of the right side. Thought about three, pulling it down. Stony Point, if you're just listening to the broadcast, navy blue numerals and shorts. Sort of a golden rod trim and numerals going from left to right. The Vipers in the home white jerseys and shorts, black numerals and trim. Vipers in scripted lettering across the front. Just underway, Merle Bertrand here flying solo tonight. Les Clary, the coach, back at the Comfy Cozy Vibe Live Studios. We start the second half of district play. Turnaround jumper off the iron, no good. The rebound pulled down by Josh Wynn. Gets it up the hatch across the timeline, kicks it over to Friday between the circles. Over on the far wing, the hatch. Looking for the cutter, not there. Hands it off on the far side to Murphy, back over to Hatch. Hatch dribble drive, cut off nicely. Back out to Anderson. To Friday, near side to Wynn. Good pass down low to Murphy, who lost the handle off his knee. Tough break there. Over a minute into the game, still no score. Vipers offensive numbers have gone through the roof in the past couple of games. Giving up more points, of course, a higher tempo game. Good pass down low in the paint. The shot off the iron. No good. The follow up and in by Tiki Maureen. And the Tigers draw first blood. Friday working across the timeline. Working against Jaden Leonard. Friday still with it. Over on the far side. Good pass to Went at the free throw line. Working down low to Murphy. Murphy's a little floating hook shot up and in. Tough shot. Good defense, but Murphy got it to go down, and we're tied at two. Flying soul tonight, so I'll be a little slow on the camera or getting the scoreboard updated every now and then, but we'll do the best we can. The ball poked away, double team trap in the corner. Caught off nice by the Viper defense. Out on top for three, off the iron, no good. The rebound tipped by Wimp, but back over to Stony Point. Over on the left side, off the glass, no good. The follow up and in. Viper's got to do a better job. Blocking out Josiah Mosley with the bucket on the rebound for two Tigers. Here comes Hatch trying to answer quickly in the paint. Lost control. Underhand gets it to Anderson. Trailing the play up and in. Nice job, Charlie Hatch, to find Mason Anderson trailing the play. We're tied at four. Here comes Stony Point back. Long shot for three from the top of the key in by Hudson Johnson. Tigers reclaim the lead at 7-4. Anderson shakes off the defense. He'll attack. Good pass down low to Murphy again. Shot blocked from behind, however, by the Tigers. Here comes Stony Point. Up, and the ball almost poked away. Now it is stolen by the Vipers. Murphy gets it back to Hatch. That was Friday. Got the hand in there to poke it away. Hatch will take it coast to coast. Underhand scoop shot. Looking for contact. No good. The shot too hard. Here comes Stony Point. Left to right. Give and go. Right side. Nobody stops him. Lays it up and in. Dylan Leinberger. 13 points in the last meeting. He's on the board here. And it's 9-4 Tigers. Went. Puts it up and no good. The rebound pulled down by Stony Point. Pass to the near side. This is Johnson. Back out on top. In the paint. Cleared some space. Could have been an offensive foul. Not called. The rebound pulled down by Murphy. 4.23 to go, 9-4 Tigers. This is Went. Went back over to Hatch, swings it over to the right side to Friday. Friday back to Anderson for three from the top of the key. Off the iron, too strong. The rebound pulled down by Murphy. Good offensive board. Hands it off to Hatch. Hatch just over in the corner. Went will try from the corner. Off the iron, too strong. The rebound pulled down by Stony Point. Tika Marine pulled on the board. This is over on the left side. Shaking off the defense up and in. Nice job by Hudson Johnson. 11-4 Tigers. Vipers can't afford to fall down too far. Hatch shakes off the defense. 
floater from the paint, and the shot just won't go. The Vipers can't block, draw a bucket right now. Getting good looks, and the give and go down the right side, up and in. And timeout going to be taken by Coach Ellis. Right now, Stony Point has Vandegas number. Gene Leonard completing the play, 13-4. Thirteen four three twenty nine to go in the first quarter. Well, we got a break in the action. I want to thank our network sponsor at Vibe Academy Sports and Outdoors. And Academy Sports and Outdoors back to school also means back to sport. And from graphic tees to football cleats, we have everything you need to make this your best year yet. Swing by your local Academy store today and shop online at academy.com. And you can find all the hottest styles from top brands like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Vans, all at a price you'll love. So if you want game-changing gear, start here at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Three twenty-nine to go in this opening quarter. Stony Point on top, thirteen to nine. Emails open in case you want to give a shout out to your favorite player on either side. Help inspire the Viper comeback. It's, you see it there on your screen, I believe. Voice of the Vipers at gmail.com. So here we go, Anderson inbounds it to Friday. Back over to Anderson, back over to Friday. He gets it across the timeline. Vipers need a bucket here. Anderson, back over to Friday. Take your time, get a good shot. Halfway through this opening quarter. Friday off the screen to his left, hands it off to Hatch. In the corner, out of went. Looking for Murphy, not there. Gets it to Hatch, swings it out on top to Friday. We'll back it back out between the circles. Over on the far side to Anderson. Anderson, top of the key to win. He's going to call for travel. Yep. 2.57 to go. Traveling gives the ball back to the Tigers. We'll come in a little bit tight if we can now that we've kind of settled in. Hudson Johnson kicks it over to the far wing to Kevin Powell, who's checked in. Good pass down low on the right side of the paint, up and in by Jalen Johnson, who's just checked in. 15-4, down by 11. Friday to Hatch, double-team trap along the sideline. He's in trouble, dribbles out of trouble, has the ball poked away, gets it over to the left side to Anderson. Anderson lays it up and in. Needed that one. 15-9, almost a steal by Hatch. And that ball poked away, and it's loose. Stony Point gets it back. On the right side, dish over in the right corner. They'll back it back out and reset. Two or seven to go, open the corner, down by nine. Pass kicked over here to the right wing to Lineberger. And they're going to throw that way. That's going to be over and back. And it'll go back to the Vipers. Hatch into Friday. Inside of two minutes to go. Friday still with the dribble over on the far wing. Off the screen by Wint, pushes it over to Anderson. Now down in the near corner, dribble drive. Hatch back to Wint for three. Drains it! Vipers crawling back into it. Here comes Stony Point quickly trying to answer. A little while, the ball kicked away and stolen by Wint. Back within two possessions. Now we've got a basketball game again. Hash clears some space. 120 to go. At the free throw line. Just over the corner for Wint. Thought about three. Pulls it down. Gets it over to Hatch. Hatch to Wint. In the corner to Anderson. Anderson shakes off the defense. Puts up the runner. Hard count. How's that not a foul? Got hammered. They haven't called a foul on either side. How's that not a foul? Tiki Moreno, Lineberger checking back in. I think it's Fantagut basketball with 105 to go. It will be. Friday, good pass on the right post to Wint. Now back out on top to Jackson Oliver who's checked in. Oliver shakes off the defense a little. Floater up and in. Nice job, Jackson Oliver. Off the bench. Vipers back within four. 
Morin picked up by Friday. Hands it off the near side to John Eric Mosley. Older brother of Josiah Mosley. There's a give and go in the paint, and that's going to be your first foul of the ball game. Going to be called, I believe, on Oliver. Forty-two point six seconds to go. Tiger basketball. They lead it by four. But the Vipers are going on a five-zero mini run here. To actually a seven-zero run. It was fifteen to four at one time. In the near corner. Got to get a stop here. Backing out at the free throw line. Double team trap. Kick over in the far corner. 4-3. And got it to fall. Jalen Johnson with the tray. That ends a 7-0 Viper run. Nudges their lead back up to 7. Get a good shot here. 18-11. Carson Towers has checked into the game. Gets it across the timeline to Fletcher. Almost traveled. Fletcher. Back out to Anderson for three. Right side. Drains it. Nine seconds to go. In this corner. On on top. Give and go. The ball kicked away. Rolls out of bounds. And it'll stay. They're going to call the end of the quarter, I believe. Is that going to be the end of the quarter? Or is that going to put some time back on the clock? Officials are going to talk about it here. I think there should be about a second or so to go in the, in the quarter. And then the question becomes, whose ball is it? Cedar Park girls over Liberty Hill, 32 to three at the half. They're gonna put 1.3 seconds on the clock. And it's gonna be Vatican basketball, I think. Well, they never sorted that out for sure. Another blowout, Pflugerville over Pflugerville Connolly, 41 to three at the half in girls basketball. That's a rough night. 1.3 seconds. Oh, they're going to throw it away. Top of the key for three. Off the iron. No good. Do Vipers dodge a bullet there. Dodge a couple of them in that corner. Fell behind by 11 points. They pulled back to within four at the end of the first quarter. Your score, 18-14, Stony Point on top. You are watching Vatican Vipers basketball on the Vipe Live Network. Become a Vibe Insider today. Access breaking news in high school sports. Enjoy premium articles and exclusive coverage written by expert analysts and watch exclusive videos, documentaries on programs in your area. It's only $2.99 a month if you subscribe for the monthly plan. If you go for the yearly plan, it rounds out to just $1.99 a month. It costs you only $24 a year to get all of your Vibe news throughout the entire year subscribe today what are you waiting for it's less than a cup of coffee a month become a vipe insider 2.99 a month 23.99 for the whole year hey it's vipe we will see you at the games Connie Murphy checking in on the email. She's Luke Murphy's grandmother. Says, go Vipers. I concur heartily. 18 to 14 at the end of quarter number one. Merle Bertrand here flying soul tonight. John will be back with us, we hope, on Friday night. Wes Clary keeping an eye and an ear on the broadcast. Give a shout out to my mom up in Illinois. I've converted her into a full-blown Viper fan. Baseball coming up this spring, but we still got basketball right now. Second half of district playing away. Viper basketball down by four. Vandegrift going right to left. It is Fletcher, Anderson, Powers, Wint, and Oliver on the court right now for Vandegrift in this second half. Anderson over on the left side to Oliver. Dishes it back out to Wint. Wint kicks it over to Anderson for three. Top of the key shot. partially blocked. Tigers pushing it up the court left to right. Dribble drive right side. Underhand shot. No good. Partially blocked by Wint. Rebound pulled down by Oliver. Gets it over to Anderson. Anderson right with the pass across the timeline to Wint. Wint starts to attack. Out to Fletcher. Wint for three, far side, a little short. Rebound poked and saved by Stony Point. Here comes Johnson across the timeline. Over on the far side, back to Johnson within the circles. Off the screen, launches a long three from downtown. Off the air, no good. Rebound pulled down by Oliver. They didn't really have Jackson Oliver when they played back in December. The Vipers football team was just 
had been eliminated from the playoffs, so he and Reese Beecham weren't really a factor in that game back in December. Anderson kicks it over to Went far side. In the corner, Oliver with tee up at three. Marshall block, but he gets it down to Fletcher. Fletcher kicks it back out to Anderson for three left side. That's going to be off the iron too strong. Good job by Mark Fletcher. <laughs> Leaping, one-handing it, and slamming it off of Hudson Johnson out of bounds. Viper basketball as Murphy, Friday, and Hatch check back into the ballgame. 6.37 to go here in this first half. Inbounded it. Oliver with the runner off the iron. Too strong. The rebound out of bounds off of Murphy. And it'll go back to Stony Point. Must win game for Vandergrift. It's important for Stony Point, obviously. As we mentioned, they're tied for third. Just one game out of first place. But the Vipers are fighting for their playoff lives right now. Turnaround jumper in the paint. Shot rattles off the iron. No good. The rebound pulled down by Murphy. Kicks it over to Friday. Over on the far wing to Oliver. Underhand scoop shot up and in. Nice job, Jackson Oliver. With the finesse. And yeah, we got an injured uh, Stony Point player trailing the play here. Looks like he's going to be okay. Six oh three to go in this first half. Vipers trail it by two. They've trailed by as many as eleven at fifteen to four. Jalen Johnson inbounded to Hudson Johnson. They've got two Johnsons, not related. Two Moseys who are re related. Two Johnsons. Yeah, I mentioned that already. All right, here we go. Hudson Johnson across the timeline, picked up by Hatch over on the left side. Shakes off the defense and hits the shot and draws a foul. Hudson Johnson double digits last time they met with 10 points. He's already got seven in this one. And they'll go to the line and try to make it eight. Foul called on Luke Murphy. That's his first. Team second. Just the second foul overall called combined. And the free throw is good from Hudson Johnson. Now just a Tiger lead back up to five. Friday working against the press. Gets it over to Oliver. Almost traveled, but recovered in time. Gets it down to Hatch. Hatch over on the far side to Murphy. Back out to Oliver. I perceive a little out of sorts right now. Oliver will shake off the defense. Goes up strong. Looking for contact. Shot no good. Murphy gets in there and almost strips the ball away. But here comes Stony Point. It is Johnson. Runner off the glass. No good. The rebound tipped up in the air. No good. Still battling for it. Stony Point comes up with it. And the foul going to be called here probably on Jackson Oliver. And that'll be two on Jackson. He's a scrapper, man. Went will come in for Oliver. And Jalen Johnson inbound. That gets it in, in the corner. Now back on the top to Hudson Johnson. Kick it over on the far side. Driving on the baseline. Cut off by Murphy. Back on top to Hudson Johnson. They go. Working at the free throw line. Dish over the right side. 4-3 from the corner. Off the iron. No good. Rebound. Controlled by Stoney Point. But he stepped on the sideline. Had to go back to the Vipers. Vending of catching a break. Jalen Johnson came down with a long rebound. But he stepped on the sideline. Down by five. Pushed it up to Hatch. Hatch, good pass to Wint. Dish over on the far side to Murphy. Murphy's going to attack, goes up strong. A lot of contact again, no foul called. And then they're going to get Bryce Friday with a ticky-tack foul called the other way. His first team four. No fouls called yet on Stony Point, by the way, just saying, with 4.50 to go in this first half. Tigers with a five-point lead and the basketball. Johnson over in the far wing to Jalen Johnson. And now we're going to get a foul called away from the basketball. Looks like it's going to be on Stony Point, their first foul. And it's going to be called on number 33, Nathan Reka, who has just checked into the ballgame. 
That's the first foul called on Stony Point, and it comes with 4.41 to go in the second quarter. Friday to Anderson. Vipers need a bucket to Hatch. Hatch on the dribble drive. Ooh, almost got a wave of the travel there. Anderson, scoop shot blocked. Pulled down by Stony Point. Here come the Tigers, two on three. Right side, 4-3, drains it. Nathan Rekha with the big three for Stony Point. Pushes their lead back up to eight at 24 to 16. Hash to Friday. Friday on the far side to Anderson. Vipers have to make another run here. Over to Went. Went thought about three, pulls it down. Far side, Hatch. Pulls up, jump shot from the free throw line off the iron. No good, the rebound pulled down by Hudson Johnson. Johnson kicks it back out. For three, top of the key, drains another one. Nathan Rager with back-to-back -back trays. And another timeout going to be taken by Coach Ellis. Vipers were within two. Now they look up at the scoreboard and all that work they had done to pull back in the ball game. They're back down by 11 again with 3.45 to go. Twenty-seven sixteen. Vipers back in action on Friday night. The rivalry game against the arch rival Vista Ridge, the oldest rivalry in Viper basketball. Against their former assistant coach, Brady Ruiz, no less. Always an entertaining matchup. We'll have that for you at about 6.50 or so on Friday night. It would mean even more if the Vipers can come back in this one and keep their playoff Hopes realistically alive. All right, still got time in this half. You're down by 11. See if you can get it to within six or seven. Heading into the halftime break. Hash gets it to Murphy. Murphy back to Friday for three. Left side. Drains there. Bryce Friday, his first points of the night. Maybe that'll get him going. 27-19. Johnson, bounce pass over on the right side to Jalen Johnson. Now down low on the baseline, cut off, but muscled it up, shot no good, rebound fought for, Murphy controls it, hands it off to Anderson. Over to Friday, chance to cut it down to six, get it back within two possessions. Friday attacks. Gets it back out to Murphy, thought about three, pulls it down, inside of three minutes to go, oh, Murphy drugged the foot, tried to put on the brakes, couldn't quite do it. And the traveling gives the ball back to Stony Point. What do we got? Kevin Powell checking in for Jaden Leonard for the Tigers. Powell with it, pushes it back over to Hudson Johnson. Johnson picked up by Hatch. At the free throw line, this is Josiah Mosley. Over on the far side, the runner underhand, scoop shot too strong, rebound pulled down, whipped out of there by Wynn. Wynn gets it back to Anderson. Anderson across the timeline. Now sets it to Friday between the circles to reset the offense. Two and a half to go first half. Down by eight with the basketball. Friday off the screen right side. Underhand scoop shot. Takes it to the hole. Bryce Friday coming alive. More of that, please. 27-21. Back within two possessions. Over on the left side. Johnson over on the far side for three. Rattles in. Wow. Kevin Powell did... That one did about a 7.20 before falling. Time out in the court. And the Tigers lead it by 9 to 30 to 21. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. You are watching Grandin' Vipers Basketball on the Vipe Live Network. Family time, anytime. Always worth every dime. On our way, chicken eat. Unbelievable sweet tea. Extra cinders, they're the best. Not to mention all the rest. Chicken eat. Place to go for all of us in the know. Plenty of sites, make a meal. Chicken E is for real. Follow me to Chicken E. Gotta have their CT. 
What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. All right, two minutes to go in the first half, down by nine with the basketball. Here comes Friday right to left, Merle Bertrand here. Friday out on top to win, top of the key. Good pass on low to Murphy, lays it up and in. Good ball movement there. Back within seven, 30 to 23. And there's a shot again for three from way downtown by Hudson Johnson. Every time the Vipers rally, Stony Point's got an answer. Ten-point tiger lead. Here comes Friday. Off the screen, right side. Cut off by the Tiger defense. Out on top to Anderson. Anderson kicks it over to Fletcher, who's checked in. Fletcher to win. Went out on top to Murphy. He can shoot a three. He'll tee it up and drain it. Doesn't do it often, but he can do it. Brannigan back within seven. 33-26. Johnson trying to take it coast to coast. Cut off by the Viper defense. Good work there by Anderson. The ball poked away, but the Tigers get it back. Kick it over the right side. Johnson for three from way outside. Rims out, no good. Rebound, fall ball. Tipped over to Josiah Mosley. Tough break there, and he lays it up and in. 47 seconds to go, down by nine. 35-26, Friday. Still with the dribble, shakes off the defense. Wild, no good, but he draws a foul. The foul gonna be called on Josiah Mosley, his first, and Bryce Friday will shoot two free throws. First free throw for Bryce, up and in. Thirty-seven seconds to go. Friday's second charity's shot is up and good. Back within seven. Would love to see a stop in a bucket here. Get it back within two possessions at halftime. Johnson across the timeline. Working on Carson Towers. Working off some clock. Seventeen seconds. Attacks, backs it back out, double team trap, dangerous pass, they throw it away! And the Vipers get it back with 12.6 seconds to go. Good defense by Vandegrip. Now Fletcher and Oliver will check in, get a little more offensive firepower. Something you see Coach Ellis doing a lot late in the game. Anderson also going to check in. Get your three-point shooters in the ball game. Anderson, Friday, Oliver, Wint, and... Fletcher on the court, 12.6 seconds to work with in the half. Inbound to Friday. Nine seconds across the timeline. He'll tee up a three from the right side, off the iron, no good. The rebound pulled down by Stony Point, four seconds to go. Don't give up a cheap one. Ball poked from behind by Oliver, and that's how the first half is going to come to an end. Well, Stony Point staked themselves out to an 11-point lead a couple of times. Vipers pulled it within two once. They've got it to within seven at the end of the first half. Your score at the end of the first half, 35-28. We'll take an extended break, get the halftime numbers put together, get you caught up in some of the other scores and action going on tonight on this Tuesday night on Vipe Live, and be back for the second half. You are watching Vatican Vipers Basketball on the Vipe Live Broadcast Network. Texas Malibu is your exclusive dealer for the world's number one water sports towboats, Malibu. Now with locations in Austin and Texas Ski Ranch in New Braunfels, we cover all of Central Texas. Come see the enthusiasts at Texas Malibu in Austin or Texas Ski Ranch in New Braunfels or give them a call 512-244-9777 or visit them online, texasmalibu.com. That's 512-244-9777. Then get on the water with your crew and make memories that'll last a lifetime. 
When you buy or sell a piece of property, it helps to have a friend in the business. Independence Title will pick up the ball on your transaction and take it right across the goal line. Independence is locally owned right here in Austin with deep roots in the Vandergrift community. Independence is also the Austin Business Journal's number one title company. Work with the home team at Independence Title. Call 329-5299 or go to independencetitle.com. Y'all listen up. Let me tell you something about group meals from Rudy's Barbecue. It's got all you need for all the folks you gotta feed, smoke, meat, sides, and more. There's everything down to the tablecloth, just like the one that you see at the store. At a bridal shower, it's better than flowers. And a long business meeting, it'll pass the hours. It'll feed all the cousins at a family function. It's better than potluck at a church luncheon. Next time you need to feed 10 or more, call an order a Rudy's Group Meal. Next in line. All right, a little halftime interlude there. Probably much more entertaining than halftime stats, but we'll give you the numbers anyway. 35 to 28, Stony Point on top. First four of the visitors, they have got some pretty balanced scoring. Three, six, eight guys in the book so far, and we're only at the half. Uh, led tonight by, so far, uh, Hudson Johnson with 11 points to lead all scores in the ballgame so far. Six points for Nathan Rake off the bench with a couple of uh, knife-to-the-throat uh, three-pointers there in the second quarter. He's got six points. Jalen Johnson with five points, four points for Josiah Mosley, and three points for Kevin Powell. Two points apiece. I think uh, five points for Jalen Johnson. I'm not sure if I said that. Two points apiece for Jaden Leonard, Tiki Morin, and Dylan Leinberger to round up the scoring for the Stony Point Tigers. For the Vandiga Vipers, a couple of guys, the three guys with seven points apiece. Bryce Friday, Luke Murphy, and Mason Anderson all with the touchdown and the extra point. Four points for Jackson Oliver off the bench, and Josh went with three points to round out the scoring for the Vipers. As uh, Stony Point led it 18-14 to 14 at the end of the first quarter, padded the lead just a little bit, 35-28 to 28 at the half. Again, Stony Point is led by as many as 11 points a couple of times. The Vipers got that lead down to two at one point. Stony Point built it back up to 11, and the Vipers kind of coming alive in the second half. So we'll see uh, what this second half brings here. Trying to see if I can track down some of the other scores. Haven't seen too many scores come in uh, over the wire here in a ripe live uh, conference room. I can't tell you some of the other games we got for you tonight. It's Pflugerville against Pflugerville Connolly in girls' and boys' basketball action. 
Uh, that was a, a one-sided affair in the girls game early on. Cedar Park girls against Liberty Hill, also a one-sided game over at the Timberdome as the number one ranked Lady Timberwolves keep on rolling. Regents get ready to take on Hyde Park in a rivalry game over at Regent School tonight. We've got some soccer action. St. Michael's against uh, TMI Episcopal out of San Antonio, boys and girls, down in South Austin. Up in Dallas, we got some soccer in the DFW area, Birdville versus uh, Northwest, and Rich Richland against Denton Ryan. And a bunch of games out in Houston. It is uh, Davis against Alding, girls and boys. Fort Ben Travis against Austin. Goose Creek Memorial, boys and girls, basketball and soccer against Baytown Lee. And St. John's taking on Houston Christian in soccer action. That's the complete lineup tonight on Vipe Live and Flow Sports. As we are halfway through this, roughly halfway through this winter session of the 2021-2022 school year. As we mentioned, we got baseball and softball and some lacrosse on tap later on this spring, but plenty of basketball and soccer left to go here throughout that January and February before we start transitioning into the spring sports. Again, we want to thank our sponsors here on Vipe Live, including Mr. John Hatch from the Vandegat Boys Basketball Booster Club. And all the sponsors, Avalar, you see them there on your screen, Avalar Texas Real Estate and Agent Rhonda Drill, Bradley Basketball, Chicken Express, Cool Creek Family Dental, Gina Rott Realty, Independence Title with Mr. Brian Pittman, EXP Realty with Agent Alicia Gower Michaud, Malibu Boats, Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, South Star Bank and State Farm Insurance Agent Mr. Gary Shanahan, along with our network sponsor here at Vipe. That would be key, that would be Academy Sports. And outdoors, get ready to go back to school and back to sport at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Shop in store or online at academy.com, and you can find all the hottest sports gear and casual styles from Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and more. That's Academy Sports and Outdoors. We've got just over two minutes. I'm going to catch my breath, chug some water, be back for the second half. You are watching Vatican Fibers Basketball on the Vibe Live Broadcast Network. Hey high schoolers, are you interested in a career in sports media? Vipe can help! Launched in 2017, our Vipe U Ambassador Program is a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vipe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each Vipe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out more about Vipe U today. Become a Vibe Insider today. Access breaking news in high school sports. Enjoy premium articles and exclusive coverage written by expert analysts and watch exclusive videos, documentaries on programs in your area. It's only $2.99 a month if you subscribe for the monthly plan. If you go for the yearly plan, it rounds out to just $1.99 a month. It costs you only $24 a year to get all of your Vibe news throughout the entire year subscribe today what are you waiting for it's less than a cup of coffee a month become a vipe insider $2.99 a month $23.99 for the whole year hey it's vipe we will see you at the games Keeping an eye and an ear on the broadcast from back at the Comfy Cozy Vibe Live Studios, better known as his Man Cave. And here we go, Stony Point basketball going from right to left as we get it away third quarter. Pass over here to the near side, driving on the baseline, and while the tipped out of bounds off of a Viper, it'll stay with Stony Point. Just underway, second half. Email open, voice of the vipers at gmail.com. If you want to give a shout out to your favorite player on either side, Tigers fans, welcome as well. Pass down low in the left post. And mostly it up, no good. The rebound fought for. Murphy came down with it. Hands it over to Hatch. Hatch across the timeline. Still with the dribble. 
Looking for Flada. He's not there. Oh, dangerous pass. Went tracks it down. Went splits the defense. Lays it up. Too strong. And the rebound pulled down by Stony Point. How is that not a foul? Again, a lot of contact. No call. Jump shot left side, and the shot goes in. That's a four-point swing right there. Tiki Warren hits the bucket. What's the use of having whistles if you're not going to use them? Back down by nine, 37-28, Friday. Back between the circles. To his right. Out to win. Over to Hatch. Hatch cut off. He's still with the dribble. Back in a back out. Good defense here by the Tigers. Pushes it over the far near side now to Anderson. He's looking at three, but not there. Starts the baseline. It's not there. Still with the dribble. Left, now right on the baseline. Finds it, goes up strong, and finally they call a foul. Mason Anderson will go to the line to shoot two, and that'll be Jaden Leonard's first foul of the ball game. First foul of the second half. Final in girls basketball. Pflugerville 75, Pflugerville Connolly 10. Ouch. Anderson hits the first free throw. Hits them both. Vandica pulls back within seven, 37-30. Six and a half to go third quarter. More in, across the timeline, picked up by Anderson. Kicks it over to the far wing now to Jaden Leonard. Leonard back on top to Marin. Anderson jumps out on him. Far side. Out on top to Hudson Johnson. Stony Point with the alley oop and the ball deflected, but Stony Point gets it back. Shot blocked out of bounds, or blocked by Murphy. Stony Point came up with it, and they're going to get Josh Wynn with a foul. We saw this in the first game. Stony Point just a little bit quicker with the hands. A lot of deflections and that kind of thing. The shot runner off the baseline up and in by Hudson Johnson. He's having himself a game. They just seem to get all the uh, loose balls, all the deflections, all the, you know, more than their share of the rebounds. Back down by nine. Went over on the far side. Dribble drive. Hatch kicks it back over to Wynn. Head fake. Back out to Hatch. Hatch, over to Anderson, off the screen by Hatch, picks up his dribble, back to Hatch. Hatch just over the left side, went, thought about three, pulls it down. Stony Point, good defense. Back over to Anderson. Anderson muscles a shot up, again looking for contact, not there. The rebound pulled down by the Tigers. Push it up the court right side, and blocked out of bounds by Josh Went. Don't forget, Stony Point is the only team that's knocked off Round Rock in district play. This is a good ball club the Vipers are facing tonight. Hanging in there with them. Johnson over on the far corner. There's a shot for three, right side, hit it. Tiki Morin with a tray. Pushes Stony Point to the biggest lead of the night at 12. 42 to 30. There's Win or Anderson, the underhand, scoop shot again, contact again, no call. Stony Point with the rebound over on the right side, teeing up the three right side, that's off the iron, no good. The rebound pulled down by Murphy, has the ball stripped away, but it goes over to Hatch. Hatch, dribble drive at the free throw line, shovels it back out to Anderson. Anderson near side, Murphy. Murphy on the attack, off the glass and in. Nice job, Luke Murphy. He's got nine of the game. Vipers back within 10, 42-32. Wild reverse layup, no good. The follow tipped up and in, however, by Josiah Mosley. Vipers trading buckets. They can't do that. They got to get on a run. There's Friday in the paint. Turn around, jump shot, banks it in. Tough shot by Bryce Friday, but he got it to fall. Now you got to get a stop. Back within 10 again, 44-34. 3.55 to go halfway through this third quarter. Back out on top. Underhand, shot blocked by Witt. Blues ball, the rebound pulled down by Hatch. Hatch 
will take it coast to coast, pop, blocked from behind, and the rebound pulled down by Stony Point. Here comes Johnson. No good, the rebound pulled down by the Tigers. Wink gets in there, ties him up. Shot no good, the rebound pulled down by Anderson. I tell you what, they're letting him play. They're really letting him play. It's like play ball, uh, 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 playoff officiating here. There's a shot blocked, and the rebound pulled down by Johnson. Two on one break, Hudson Johnson goes up and in. And a timeout going to be taken by Stony Point, I believe. With 3.13 to go, the lead is 12 points for the Tigers, 46 to 12. They've gone final over at the Timberdome, Cedar Park 50, Liberty Hill 25 in girls basketball. Three thirteen to go, down by 12. Viper's going to have to turn up the heat on defense. They're going to have to make their free throws, take care of the basketball. Down by 12, 46-34, 3.13 to go here in this third quarter. Friday across the timeline. Tigers trap him. And that's a bad pass stolen by Stony Point. Laying it up and in, Tiki Morin with the bucket. And Stony Point... And that ball, they're going to call traveling on the Vipers. As they were looking for the backdoor cut they had, Oliver, the ball went out of bounds anyway. And Stony Point right now starting to take command with 2.50 to go. They're up by 14. Mosley on the give and go from the right side up. Off the iron, no good, but the foul put up and in by Nathan Reka. And it's all Tigers right now, 50 to 34. Friday over to Carson Towers and almost lost it off of his foot. Rolls the pass over to Oliver. Over to Anderson, too long, but the rebound, the uh, loose ball picked up by Witt. Towers gets the rebound, fires it back out to Friday. Friday puts it up and no good, but the follow up and in by Jackson Oliver. Johnny on the spot. 50 to 36. Good pass down low in the paint. The little hook shot up and in, and it draws a foul. And I believe they call that one on Jackson Oliver. That'll be three on him. And at the free throw line to try to complete the old school three-point play is Josiah Mosley, just a sophomore. Six points in the ball game. Make it seven as he hits the free throw. 17 point Tiger lead. 2.01 to go, third quarter. Fletcher, Anderson, Went, Towers, and Oliver on the court right now for the Vipers. Fletcher off the screen by Oliver. On our top, win for three, top of the key, hits the shot, but they're going to call an offensive foul. They call an offensive foul away from the basketball on Jackson Oliver, and that's four on him, and it takes away three points from the Vipers. Tiger basketball. John Eric Mosley hands it off left side, now back out on top to Johnson. Over on the far corner, Reka back to John Eric Mosley. Over to Kevin Powell. Powell has the ball stripped away, loses it out of bounds, but it'll stay with the Tigers with 127 to go. Reese Beecham going to check in. His first appearance tonight. Gets a little extra love from his football teammates. Inbound pass to Reka. Hudson Johnson with a three. Fifty-six, thirty-six, twenty-point ball game. This one is quickly falling away from the Vipers. 
Over the far side to Oliver. That was Towers, pardon me. Oliver has it back now. Oliver splits the defense, and they're going to call. Ooh, that could have been. I tell you what, we caught a break there. That could have been a charge call, and that would have been it for Jackson Oliver. But they're going to call a blocking foul instead on Kevin Powell. Oliver hit the bucket. Nice job doing that. And he's got a chance to complete the three-point play. I think we caught a break there, but we'll take it. Free throw, no good. The rebound controlled by the Tigers. They almost lose it out of bounds, but they maintain possession. Under a minute to go, here's Johnson with it. Hudson Johnson, that is. Oliver picks him up. 52 seconds to go. Over on the far wing. Cut off on the baseline. The floater put it up and in nonetheless. By John Eric Mosley. That's his first points of the ball game. Back up to a 20-point edge for the Tigers. Fletcher, good pass to Reese Beach. Oh, Beach him too strong on the reverse layup. Over on the far wing. And that shot up no good. The rebound pulled down by Towers. Bounce pass, kicks it over to Tyler Winans. Is checked into the ball game. Winans out to Fletcher. Fletcher off the screen. To his right, six seconds. Towers will tee up a three right side off the iron. Too strong. Beecham batting for the rebound. Fletcher gets a back, pulls it up from the free throw line. No good. And a rough third quarter for the Vandega Pipers comes to an end. What was a seven-point deficit is now a 20-point deficit. We'll take a break. Be back for the fourth and final quarter. You are watching Vandega Pipers basketball on the Vipe Live Network. Interested in Vipe Campus? Vipe Campus brings our popular citywide media days right to your doorstep. As a Vipe Campus client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of our unique campus model to build a unique experience for your school. From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Vipe U program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine, Vipe Campus is truly whatever you want it to be. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out how to join Vipe Campus today. Outscored 23 to 10 in that third quarter. They find themselves trailing at 58 to 38 as we get ready for the fourth quarter. Burrow Bertrand here, flying soul tonight. Wes Clary back at the Vipe Live Studios, keeping an eye and an ear on the broadcast. Appreciate him giving up his Tuesday night for us here. They scored so many points, I missed some for a stony point, but. They've got enough of them, that's for sure. 58 to 38. Vipers down by 20 as this fourth quarter getting underway. A loss tonight probably doesn't mathematically eliminate the Vipers from playoff contention, but uh, realistically, it probably does. At least if they're going to catch Stony Point, because remember, that would be a sweep for Stony Point, so the Tigers would have the tiebreaker should Vanek have managed to fight their way back in the final six games to tie them up. Here's Hatch. Start is back on the court Friday. Head fake. Good body control, but the shot no good. That's been the Vipers. Oh, it's Friday. Good hustle with the steal. The reverse layup too strong, but the foul opened in by Luke Murphy. Good work. Nice job for getting about the scoreboard and just playing basketball. 58-40. Justin Zimmerman has checked in for the Tigers. Back out on top to Hudson Johnson. To Zimmerman. Over on the far wing now to John Eric Mosley. To Hudson Johnson. Ball poked away and stolen by Friday. And the Vipers lose it out of bounds, but it's off of a Stony Point Tiger, much to the chagrin of the Tigers fans. And Friday shaking up a little bit, trying to walk it off. He 
Inbound Friday. Under seven minutes to go. A lot of work to do now by 18. Friday. Dishes over the near side. Anderson for three from the corner. Off the iron. No good. The follow again by Murphy. Turn around. Hook shot up and no good. The rebound pulled down by Stony Point. Almost intercepted by Anderson and he's traveling called on Stony Point. Tigers are getting a little sloppy here with the big lead. Vipers have to take advantage. You've still got time. Get this thing within 10 points for the four minute mark. You've still got a shot. Friday across the timeline. Picked up by Zimmerman. Top of the key to Witt. To Murphy at the free throw line. Luke will back it back out. Shakes off the defense. Around the left post. Now on the far side. Good head fake by Witt. Pulls up jump shot left side. That's going to be short. Rebound pulled down by Stony Point. Vipers just have not shot well tonight. Over on the far side. This is Reka. Off to Zimmerman. Zimmerman kicks over to the near side to John Eric Mosley. Back to Reka for three. He too long. He missed one finally. Rebound pulled down by Friday. Friday pushes the pass up the hatch. Hatch shakes off the defense with a nice move. Shot off the iron. No good. The rebound tipped and controlled by Stony Point. Vipers have had opportunities. They just cannot buy a bucket. Mosley with it. Inside of six minutes to go. Out on top to Johnson. Near side to Mosley. Reka to Zimmerman. Back to John Eric Mosley. Back to Hudson Johnson. Picked up by Hatch. Stony Point in no hurry. They've got plenty of cushion here as Reka will back it back out. Hand it over to Zimmerman. Good give and go in the back door and a good pass in the paint but the shot blocked by Luke Murphy out of bounds. Stony Point with nice ball movement. But Murphy recovered on time for the block. Jalen Johnson and Tiki Morin checking back in for the Tigers. Inbound pass to Morin. Picked up by Anderson. Near side, we're going to get a foul called away from the basketball on the Tigers, I believe. That one called on Josiah Mosley. That is his first. Three team fouls apiece. 5.04 to go. In regulation time. Friday across the timeline. Picked up by Zimmerman. Shuffle the pass to Anderson in the near corner. Off the screen. Out on top to Wint. Kicks over to the far side to Hatch. Hatch with the dribble drive. Cut off nicely by Johnson. Back out to Wint to go. Back over to Friday. Friday pushes the pass to Murphy. Murphy, the running hook shot in the paint. Short to follow up by Anderson up and in. Good work on the offensive boards. Vipers back within 16, 58-42. Johnson working on Hatch. Kicks it over to Zimmerman. Jalen Johnson to Morin. Back to Hudson Johnson. Johnson. Left side, the runner gets it to fall. It's the first points of this fourth quarter. Oh, what a move by Friday. Underhand scoop shot, coast to coast. Bryce Friday. He lost control of the ball, got it back somehow, and completed an underhand scoop shot layup. 60 to 44. The floater, the alley-oop up and in. Finished off by Josiah Mosley. And again, the Vipers cannot trade buckets as Friday will take it coast to coast again. Nobody stops him, and a timeout going to be taken by Stony Point. Coach Andrew Page not happy with the lax defense. And with 3.23 to go, we'll keep it here. Vipers trailing again by 16, 62 to 46. That third quarter surge really hurt the Vipers. Stony Point's led pretty much all the way. But that third quarter may put this one out of reach. Not quite done yet. You still got time. But you're going to have to catch a couple of breaks. 62 to 46.
More basketball coming up on Friday night from Vista Ridge. Crosstown rival, the Rangers. Former assistant head coach Brady Ruiz, now the head guy over in Rangerland. The Vipers' oldest rivalry in basketball. That's one where you toss out the records and just get after it. Over on the far side. Stony Point with the basketball, 3.15 left to go. Tigers have the ball and a 16 point lead. Pass over here to the near side, cut off. Bounce pass out on top to Morin. Pass on the left post, looking for the back door cutting out there. The pass it back out to Hudson Johnson. Friday comes out on him. Just over the left side, they thought about three, pull it down, no need to take that shot. Now they get it down low in the left post. Kick it back out to Morin. Good discipline by the Tigers. Cross court pass over on the near side. Back out to Hudson Johnson. The Tigers is playing keep away. Pass in the paint. Over on the right side. In the paint. He's in there for a long time. Shot blocked from behind by Josh Wimp. But the foul going to be called on Josh. Second foul. That'll send Josiah Mosey to the free throw line to shoot two with 2.32 to go. First one up and good. Caden Postiglione checking in along with Tyler Winans. Second one no good. The rebound pulled down by Fletcher. Two and a half to go down by 17. Friday picked up by John Eric Mosley. Pass over here to the near side to Fletcher. Back out on top to Oliver. He'll tee up at three. Off the iron, too strong. The rebound pulled down by Mosley. Out in the pass over on the right side to Morin. Dish it over the far corner. Back out to John Eric Mosley from Johnson. Hudson Johnson with it now. Near side to Morin. Back on top to Mosley over to Johnson. Inside of two minutes to go, Tigers playing keep away. Cross court pass near side to Jalen Johnson. Johnson will back it back out. More end over to Hudson Johnson. Tigers is bleeding out the clock here with 1.35 to go. Coach Page getting ready to empty out his bench here at the next stoppage of play. Bounce pass out on top. Nice discipline by the Tigers. There's a shot for three from the near side. Hit it. John Eric Mosley drains the three. The nudge will lead back up to 20 at 66-46. Friday over the far side. Postiglione shot blocked out of bounds by Morin. And now 15, 24, and 35 coming in. That is Niles Anthony. David McLean and Sean Saunders checking in for the Tigers for those final 61 seconds. Fletcher inbound, gets it in to Postiglione. Ball kicked out of bounds again. It'll stay with the Vipers with 56.7 seconds left. Stony Point has shown they're for real. They can hang with Ron Rock and Westwood, and the ball is intercepted on the inbounds pass. Don't be surprised to see these Tigers battling for a district title. Out on top to John Eric Mosley. 40 seconds. Top of the key over on the near side. 30 seconds to go at the free throw line. Pushes over the near side to Anthony. Anthony out to Mosley. 20 seconds. Wish there was a shot clock in high school basketball. It doesn't matter in this case, but really wish there was a, high, a, a shot clock in high school basketball in Texas. Four seconds to go. 
back out to Saunders. He's going to rifle a pass over on the far side to David McLean, and that's going to do it. Stony Point comes in, gets the season sweep, sweeping the Vipers here at home, 66 to 46, your final score. We'll take a break, get the unhappy numbers put together, be back to wrap it up from the Viper pit. You are watching Grand Eagle Vipers basketball on the Viper Live Network. Texas Malibu is your exclusive dealer for the world's number one water sports towboats, Malibu. Now with locations in Austin and Texas Ski Ranch in New Braunfels, we cover all of Central Texas. Come see the enthusiasts at Texas Malibu in Austin or Texas Ski Ranch in New Braunfels or give them a call 512-244-9777 or visit them online, texasmalibu.com. That's 512-244-9777. Then get on the water with your crew and make memories that'll last a lifetime. When you buy or sell a piece of property, it helps to have a friend in the business. Independence Title will pick up the ball on your transaction and take it right across the goal line. Independence is locally owned right here in Austin with deep roots in the Vandergrift community. Independence is also the Austin Business Journal's number one title company. Work with the home team at Independence Title. Call 329-5299 or go to independencetitle.com. Y'all listen up. Let me tell you something about group meals from Rudy's Barbecue. It's got all you need for all the folks you gotta feed, smoked meat, sides, and more. There's everything down to the tablecloth, just like the one that you see at the store. And a bridal shower, it's better than flowers. And a long business meeting, it'll pass the hours. It'll feed all the cousins at a family function. It's better than potluck at a church luncheon. Next time you need to feed 10 or more, call an order for Rudy's Group Meal. Next in line. It's never too soon to start teaching good savings and spending habits. Encourage early savings with a high-interest youth savings account from South Star Bank. And teach responsible spending in a safe environment with South Star Bank's youth checking account. South Star Bank youth accounts offer no minimum balance fee and no monthly service charge. Set your child on the path to financial stability. Open a South Star Bank youth account today. Learn more about southstarbank.com forward slash youth. Member FDIC. Forty-six. The unhappy total tonight from the Viper Pit as the Stony Point Tigers come in and complete the season sweep over the Bandigan Vipers, and uh, we will give you the scoring numbers. I'm off by two points somewhere. I uh, hope you can forgive me. All we know, all that really matters is that they had more than we did. But uh, the numbers that I have looks like this: Hudson Johnson leading all scores tonight with 20 points. Josiah Mosley, unofficially the only other player that they had in double digits, but they had a bunch of guys that scored. They all together had three, six, nine guys score. Uh, by my count. So Johnson, Hudson Johnson with 20, Josiah Mosley with 10, and then I've got uh, Tiki Moran with 9, Nathan Rakel with 8 points in the ball game, 5 points apiece for John Eric Mosley and uh, Jaden uh, Jalen Johnson, 2 points for Jaden Leonard, 3 points for Kevin Powell, and 2 points for Dylan Leinberger to unofficially close out the scoring for the Stony Point Tigers. The Tigers now improved to 16 and 8 overall on the season. More importantly for them, they keep pace. They're now 6 and 2 in district play, and uh, they will have a critical, critical game coming up for them on Friday night at home against Cedar Ridge. We'll call up the standings here for you so you can kind of see why that's important. Heading into tonight, Stony Point was tied with Cedar Ridge, one game out of first place. Uh, they've already won tonight. Cedar Ridge 
is uh, playing. Who's City Ridge playing tonight? They're taking on Ron Rock. That's a critical matchup. But in any event, uh, that's going to be a big game on Friday night between Stony Point and Cedar Ridge. That's what they've got coming up next. For the Bandicoot Vipers, the good news is they had three guys in double digits. The bad news is nobody else really, uh, they didn't have the balance scoring behind them. Bryce Friday with 13 points in the ball game. Luke Murphy with 11. And Mason Anderson with 11. Jackson Oliver just missing double digits with eight points. But other than that, Josh Wynn had a three-pointer in the first quarter, and that's it. The Vipers was 46 points on the season for a team that's been shooting well and scoring about 65 points a game over the past three or four games. Stony Point clamped down on the Vipers tonight and held Bandigan to just 46 points in the loss. The Vipers dropping down to 12 and 14 overall, 2 and 6 in district play. And as we've been saying, uh, the next broadcast coming up on Friday night from Vista Ridge against the arch rival Vista Ridge Rangers. That's going to be a lot of fun regardless of the records. Both teams struggling a little bit. That's still going to be a heck of a fun ball game on Friday night. Be sure to tune in. Pre-game roughly set to get underway at about 6.50. But that's going to do it for us tonight. Again, a big thanks to John Hatch and the Vandegut Boys Basketball Booster Club and all of our sponsors. You see them there on your screen. Avalar Texas Real Estate and Agent Rhonda Drill, Bradley Basketball, Chicken Express, Cool Creek Family Dental, Gina Rott Realty, Independence Title with Mr. Brian Pittman, EXP Realty with Agent Alicia Gower Michaud, Malibu Boats, Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, South Star Bank, and State Farm Insurance Agent, Mr. Gary Shanahan. Big, big thanks to them. If you know them, thank them for all their support and uh, patronize them if at all possible. Again, we'll be back with you Friday night from Vista Ridge. The Vipers will take on their oldest rival in the Vista Ridge Rangers. Uh, but for now, on behalf of Mr. John Hatch, hopefully he'll be with us on Friday night. Our QA tonight, the coach Les Clary. Our technical.